uh, Alfen Ardianto have a very good record against Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han. 5-1 Lee. Expect all action this one. Will be entertaining. Yep, well left. Oh! Good power on that shot. Just uh, correct myself there in the fact, actually. Last six they have got through. Last time they, they've lost more than they've won. The Canada Open in the last uh, tournament they played, they were out in the second round. Second round. Last seven tournaments, only twice. They are leading here against the number one. To start here from Lu and Yang. Ben Arianto, 13 times they've met Chinese Taipei opponents in this round. They've won 12. The only time that they've lost in the second round to Chinese Taipei opponents. So, just a bit of hesitation. That was at the Spain Masters in March. They lost in the quarterfinals to Li Fangzhi and Li Fangzhen. Not surprising, perhaps the Chinese Taipei pair that uh, in the last round of this tournament. Still in front here. I remember at the interval it was 11 8. matches this year has been spectacular they've won 24 out of 30 this year has been good no it's the Indonesians to take it there was a bit of hesitation back again of their own from Chinese Taipei towards the end so it swung a few times in momentum
very emphatically. Not so good for the Chinese Taipei pair who have won 100 in uh, 2023. It's a bit of a comeback there, the Chinese Taipei pair. Good evasive manoeuvres there. Easy one again. In 2019, and they got to the final last year. was impressive. Number one pairing, as you said. That took a lot of good position here. Malaysia also blessed with many men's doubles partnerships. Hey, Only one tournament, really. Have they gone far in without a walkover in the way? And that was uh, home one. Started off with a runners up finish at the Malaysia Open, semi finals of the India Open, quarters of the Indonesia Masters. They've now set up here. Still have five match points. And they have complete. They continue 